Hi everyone, so I went to two Hobby Lobbies and one had done jewelry and the other one had not done jewelry yet. So I still have not been able to get any of the Bead Design Company bubblegum beads yet. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to catch them whenever they do go on clearance. So let me share with you what I got. At one store they had Easter stuff. So I got these eggs for 24 cents. I got this giant rabbit right here. Um, it's pink. I hate pink and I don't have a girl. So I'm going to use this for Sunny. So I'm going to spray paint it gold because Sunny and I both love gold. So he came out to 39 cents. And then I found these are, um, he has risen. So those came out to 29 cents. They're just little wood pieces. I think you get four. Yeah, four pieces. So I got those. There was this like little Lego car for 29 cents. So I'm probably going to give this to one of my nephews or see if Sunny wants it. I'm sure one of the boys will want it. And then the last little item was just another one of the bag of Easter eggs for 24 cents. So let me move this. So at one of the stores, I found yarn for 99 cents. Now I know my mom is going to kill me because she said I already got enough yarn for her. But this was so pretty. It's this beautiful baby gray. I absolutely loved it. I love that it was only 99 cents. And I didn't get all of them. I think I got her four. So I figured that's okay. She still had a little bit more room in her big old tote. So I'm like, that's fine. <laughs> so I got her those. And in the paper clearance, they still had a pack of these. And I decided to pick it up because when I was looking at it, I thought that would be really cute to cut down and make like a little junk journal out of. So I still, still need to share with you guys, I did a tiny one, like probably like this big, probably like two by one and a half. I did a tiny little junk journal just to try it out to see if I could do it. And I think it came out pretty good. I'm sure I can improve the more I make them. But I thought this would be cute pages because it's got like this kind of like texture to it. So that's what I want to use those for. And then um, the Tim Holtz is on sale this week 40% off. So I got this one because I have something new I want to try. Um, oh, I'll just tell you guys. So I have been addicted to watching the shorts on YouTube of people doing like little mini journals or little scrapbooks and I've just been so in love of watching those so I'm gonna try my hand at those and let's see how you guys um, enjoy those if you guys watch them already let me know because I know I've been hooked on watching those over in the wood section they did do clearance already so these were 24 cents so I got this one. These are pretty thick. You can see that they are multi-layered right there. So 24 cents for that one. 24 cents for this one. I did do a in-store shop with me. And that was the video before this one. But I'll also link it down below in the description box if you want to see what else they had on clearance. They also had like big wood pieces that said create and coffee. And there was like a laundry one and just all kinds of stuff. They had a bunch. So go check that video out. Um, they did have the keys. And if you guys know me, I'm obsessed with collecting keys and buttons and all kinds of weird little stuff. So I really, really love these keys. So those were 87 cents. And in the fine art section, they've marked down some other items. There were like, uh, they look like spray cans, but they were actually glue. Those were on clearance, but the store I was at um, was sold out already, but I saw that they were marked with a little D on the label, and I did find some of the markers, so now I have a pack for me and a pack for Sunny. Those came out to $3.74, and then these jumbo colored pencils, they only had one pack, so I'm going to give these to Sunny, and uh, these were $1.74 for those, and... Um, kind of like in the art back to school area, they had some of these like little poster cutouts. So these were 74 cents and it's just all these little pups in frames. 
thought these were really cute. This one actually looks like my cousin's dog, so I'm going to give her one of those. And then they had numbers right here that kind of give me Tim Holt vibes. So those were 49 cents. And then they had birdhouses that were, I believe, 74 cents. They're in the video that I made of the in-store shop with me. And I found this little book for 99 cents. It says it's for kids, but I thought I'd give it to my mom. Um, I thought it might be something that she would enjoy to do. So there's just, you know, like little crossword puzzles and stuff in here. So I thought she would probably enjoy that. So I'm going to give that to my mom. And then they had the really nice sequence. So I got one of each of what they had. I think there's a green one. Yeah, there's the green one. So I really, really love these. I think they're gorgeous. These are definitely Halloween vibes right here. And then this is coffee or fall. And then some blue winter there. And I was walking past the party section. And I saw that the forks are 99 cents. Now they do have different kinds of um, silverware stuff. There was spoons, knives, forks, or mixed bags. But I picked one up to share with you guys because if you're throwing a party and you need some plastic silverware, definitely go to Hobby Lobby because if you think about it, Dollar Tree is now $1.25. So you do save some money when you're buying, you know, a lot of these items for a party. So I definitely wanted to share with you guys, 99 cents, save that extra quarter. I'm sure a lot of us go to Hobby Lobby anyway, so you could just stock up while you're there. So definitely go check out the party section because some of the things were definitely cheaper in the party section than at Dollar Tree. So that quarter adds up really, really fast. So um, I just wanted to share that little tip with you. And then I got them a gold because Sunny and I both love gold. So I thought that would be fine to have in the house. And then they had these little stir sticks for $1.99. And I thought these would be really, really cute. I've never made any, but I've seen other people where they will take something similar and then do like little flags off of it. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so I don't remember where I left off, but I got these. I've seen other people where they take these and then they put little flags off of it and then embellish it. So I love how everybody does those. So I thought these would be really cute to go ahead and do that same concept with. So these were $1.99 for 24 pieces. So I got that. And then, um, like I said, one store did do the jewelry. So I went through the jewelry there. And I love these kits. I know I bought it before and I've told you guys, buy these kits if you see them on clearance. They are a super good value. It's $6.39. And you get the tool. If you look at the tools alone in the jewelry section, this kit is well worth it. Because you get the tool, you get some wire, and then you get a bunch of pieces. You see in this one, the box is a little destroyed, so everything is just kind of at the bottom. But it's a really, really good value. There is a list of everything that you get in this one kit for the $6.40. Absolutely love these kits. Definitely buy these if you see them. Especially if you want to start off with jewelry making, this is a great little starter kit. So you can think with this one, it's $6.39. And this one gives me, you know, like Texas vibes right here. So this one is really, really cute. I did buy this one before, but it was missing the charm right here in the middle. So I, when I found this one with the little skull head, I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally want that. So I'm kind of sad that the first one I bought was missing the charm but this one has it and I think it's really really cool I love it so that's why I picked this one up because I really wanted that charm and like I said you can never have enough jewelry tools and you know it comes with wire and all the little pieces here and then here is the list of everything that comes in that kit right there so if you find these definitely pick those up and I have been looking for the Bee Design Company bubblegum beads that come in the rectangles. And this store, somebody had already cleaned it out by the time I got there. But I did find these. So I picked up three of them. They are uh, 74 cents. And they are just these little circle pearls right here. So you can hang this off of a chunky charm or a dangle. And all that you have to do is put a jump ring and then you have a little dangly element. But I also wanted to try this with like making a pokey tool and using this as a spacer. So they would end up looking like this on the side. 
and then the bead would go here and then a bead on the bottom so i wanted to try that to see how that would work or maybe with beatable pins so i figured let me get them while they're on clearance and i can play around with it and see what it works if it doesn't work with the pokey tool the beatable pin i could still use these to go ahead and just put a jump ring through and dangle it off of anything so i got those and then um this store had a ton i mean like a dozen of these rolled gold little kits so they are a dollar 74 and it comes with everything you need so i picked up another one of those because i just think the rose gold is beautiful so i grabbed that and then they had a couple of these little beads right here so these are two different sets right here so they both are 4.99 but if you look right here at the little SKU number, you'll see that they are different. So this one, if you look at the bottom, it's more like silver and gold and black. And then this one gives me more of that mermaid vibe right there. So these are two different sets right there. So if you find these in the store, definitely take a look and get one of each. So these are glass beads. That is really good. $5 for all those glass beads. That is an amazing, amazing deal because... We all know how much just a string bead costs of glass beads. Those alone are like $2.50 and up. So that's an amazing deal for $5 for all of those beads. And then I was looking over at, um, what is it, like Fairy Tale, I think it's called. I don't know. They covered up the full name right here. I think it's called Fairy Tale. Um, I love their stuff. It gives me like Disney vibes. So I found this one for $1.24 and I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Like look at how large this little Pegasus is right here. I think it's beautiful. Look at the detail of the wings. It's just stunning. I absolutely love it. So I got that one for myself. And then I actually have a tattoo that is angel wings but it surrounds a heart so this reminded me of my tattoo so i got that one and this was a dollar 24 again the details on the wings on these are just absolutely beautiful love that and then like i said i love keys and collecting keys so when i saw these i was like i definitely need those so 99 cents and they're just you know like little keyholes then it has the little rhinestone on top i thought those were really pretty and then I bought three of these. I think she is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy I found her. Look at, she is just this beautiful little mermaid sitting on the moon with some flowers. So these right here are going to work beautifully with this little charm right there. You see it has all the blues and the purples and the pinks. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to do a little chunky charm and use this as the center focal point so um yeah i grabbed three of those and i left two there so i'm hoping at the other store that hasn't done jewelry i can find more of these because i'm just obsessed i think she is so gorgeous i definitely want to put her on a chain for one of my aunts because i know that she'll definitely wear it so i think that's pretty much it oh there's one more item here um Oh, I got two of these. I didn't remember getting two. So I got two of the little Pegasus. I wonder why I got two. I don't remember doing that, but apparently I did. <laughs> so I think, yeah, it's just beautiful. I could definitely do another Chunky Charm using these beads as well. Or maybe I'd do a combination of both. I think that's what I'll do is I'll make one of these for myself because um, I definitely wanted to wear it. I think it's just gorgeous and it would be a beautiful on a chain, so... Um, I think I'm going to do one into a necklace and then one into a chunky charm and then I'll mix these two beads for the chunky charm. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and we'll see you later. Bye guys.